And I wanted, and I'll, I'll just get out of your way for most of this, but what I wanted to have you on today was to talk about the cruise because you've been responsible for putting that together. But I also wanted to, you know, to kind of go from talking about that into, you know, why marketing isn't so important. Like, I think it's arguably, I mean, you know me, great. I'm a sales guy. So I think, mar- I think sales is the most important field to have, but I think marketing is a very close second. And I think a lot of people would argue that marketing is more important um, and you can't really have one without the other. So I'd love for you to talk about you know, kind of the crews, you know, how you're approaching it, how you're using it to, you know, help recruit new agents, get new, get existing agents excited. And then just anything you have to share with people that, you know, are on this call that are valuable takeaways for how they become, become better marketers, you know, of themselves, of their business, of whatever they're doing, but to get, become more prolific marketers will make them a ton of money. So I'll step out of your way. I'll be here to bounce stuff off if you need me, but I appreciate you getting on, dude. Well, I appreciate you, Zach, as always, all you do for your team, for the company, for you know your family it's it's a whole new level of responsibility each and every day that you know you're like hey I'll get married and then we'll have kids and then I'll still have to run this business right like so it just so for everyone out there that's juggling life and progressing at the same time welcome to you know welcome to business right but if you if others have done it you can do it and it's just disciplining yourself and putting yourself in a position where you're eradicating things that aren't so speeding your goals And you only focus on things that do. And whether that's health or whether that's personal development or mostly if that's making dials to make sales, um, all things are feeding you to get you to become the person, the best version you're trying to become. So, um, but to talk about the cruise, I'm, 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 you know, to, to selfishly say, I'm just excited about talking about something new, right? Because I mean, if you've been with us any amount of time, we talk about a lot of the same things. Let's dial, you know, 300 dials a dial day book our 30 appointments, present 20, close 10, repeat. And I love all that, right? People making insane money here, uh, producer bonuses, renewals, uh, day one, uh, BP bonuses. I mean, all these great things. And I think that as a company, we've done the best job in the industry of helping people make the most amount of money if they want to work hard for it, right? FFL is the best place for people who want to work hard to get paid very well. Um, Most people don't want to work very hard. So in turn, they don't get paid very well. But those that do want to work very hard can get paid very, very well here. Um, and I, you know, there's we don't we don't have like a income report statement that we print because it's all you're all 1099 um, entrepreneurs. But I would put our numbers against anyone out there, and you know, and that's why you're here, right? Because you get paid very well and all the all the wonderful things. But in the most most things in life, humans humans crave connection, right? There, you know, I'm reading a lot of parenting books right now, Zach, uh, because I am a dad of four and I thought you just kind of like yell loud and put them in timeout and like, they'll just get better eventually, right? And the reality though, is they don't. Um, they just, you know, they look to you as, um, as someone who's their number one most important person, but also they will bottle up and they'll they'll kind of um, get fearful about what's happening. Why is dad yelling at me if he's the one who loves and is supposed to take care of me? And one of the concepts of like when your child is like acting out of sorts is connect and redirect, right? So you get down their level, you hug them, put a hand on them, calm them down, and then you redirect and talk about something else to move them off whatever is frustrating them. And so I think that, you know, maybe utilizing those parenting concepts within business is looking in the sense that, as a company, we've done a very good job of helping people make money, but as a company, we're very disconnected, right? There's Mark's group and Andrew's got his thing and you got a thing and I got a thing and Ina Hayden got a thing and Ivan's got a thing and Steve Giordano's got a thing and Vivian's got a thing. We all have these things, right? And Sean kind of oversees and doesn't want to, you know, ruffle feathers because we want everyone to kind of grow and, and evolve as their as their groups. But one of the things that that you know, I think most people enjoy is being recognized, right? That's always an action, a a common thread that we've, we beat uh, the drum on from early on in our company is said, recognize the actions you want repeated, right? Don't put people on leaderboards who made two sales, right? Don't put people on leaderboards if they sell nine families a month, right? And so in that, in that mindset, like what we want repeated is high production. Why? Because we know they're going to live better. We know the clients are going to get serviced better. We know the leads are going to get taken care of. We know they're good examples as far as trainers. We know they know how to get people started when they go to start to build agencies. So how do we take this instead of just throwing more money at them and doubling a bonus that, they, you know, they made 30, but they get a $500 bonus. Now they're going to get a thousand. That's fine, right? Who doesn't want more money? 
But the, the concept of the cruise, for all of you guys, and I know many of you are promoting it, and I've seen Easton's marketing, like, who would have thought Easton's videos were like, he's, Easton's kicking butt, right? I was loving it. I'm like, FFL Disruptions, just, the, you know, they got all these cool videos. So <laughs> in that mindset, like, for all of you out there, whether you're brand new, newish, getting started, growing, leading, IPO office, you know, all these things is like, how do I put myself in a position where I can get my group and, and get something fun that then accomplishes our goals, which is connect, right? And then building culture. And then also in the same time, recognizing actions we want repeated. And that's where this cruise concept came up, that it's something fun, something that is there that people can work towards. They earn, it's basically free except their flight. And corporate still, you know, my original pitch was let's reallocate the $500 a month you know, and turn it towards something that we can bring people together. And, and Sean goes, no, we're going to pay the bonuses still. And we're going to cover the entire cruise cost of nearly a million dollars, which is pretty cool, right? Thank you, Sean, for having, you know, the foresight and trust that, you know, this would be a great concept. And so that's where we come together. And so wherever you are right now in your business, whether you're at 15, 20, 25 families so far coming out of uh, July, rolling into August and September, there's no reason. I mean, we already have people that have, I think there's 10 people that have already qualified over hundred families in the first three, four weeks. Yeah. They're banger producers. Yes. They are rockstars. Yes. They buy a lot of leads, but it also means it's possible. It means that what someone else has done, you can do too. So wherever you are, you can still have two months to qualify for this thing and getting around the elite group of people that are making happeners and doers. Because if you're a person who finds themselves with a desire to achieve and excel and put yourself in a mindset where I only like, there's this great Kobe Bryant, like memes or and I call me, but it's not, it's a short video. It's like, I don't talk to lazy people. I don't want to be around them. I don't want to get infected by them. They're, they're only going to make me stupider and there's nothing I can learn from them. And so that concept goes. So if we go the opposite, I only want to get around winners. I only want to get around 30 K producers. I only want to get around integrity partners. I only want to get around doers and winners and goers right? That's what this cruise offers you. So for those that are qualifying or qual like, like every time I get around the other partners or top producers, like I glean insight, right? I go, they, they live their life that way. Like I'm right now thinking about going and getting a bike so I can ride my, or a good bike, right? I've got a mountain bike that I ride around the neighborhood with my kids and pull my like daughter in her little like wagon stroller, but a good bike. Cause Zach rides like 50 miles when he goes out on these rides. And I'm like, He's actually successful. He's really fit. He's got big biceps. Maybe this, these things would help me to, but, that, but and all jokes aside, right? Successful people recognize habits of other successful people. That's what you'll get by being on this cruise, right? By promoting it, by being positive about it, by encouraging people to attend and to, and to push for it, because it's not just the, the winning it. It's not just the networking. It's even more so the million dollar conversations that you're going to have with people whom you want to associate with. And if, if the words I'm saying don't resonate with you, well, it's time for you to elevate your expectations. It's time for you to grow and evolve and mature and, and to decide if, if massive success is truly something you want in your life, right? When we all start this business, right? We get our first chargeback. We get our first roll up lead or we learn about additional expenses then we get staff then we have their staff problems and then we've got you know the, the, the so the life life just keeps coming at you your own personal life your own business life and how you progress through it and those that you have to seek counsel from equip you with knowledge to get through it and that's what you get by attending and going and winning something like this so i'm beyond excited for it i'm grateful that sean had the 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 consciousness or the the awareness that this is something that at this time in our company as great as we are and as much production as we're spitting off that it'd be great to pull together the top two three hundred people love on them go down the tallest water slide in the world and you know zip line and go to some shows and ice skate on the like it's all kinds of cool stuff like I haven't been on a cruise since I was a kid but I'm like I'm excited Zach so that's where my passion for all of you guys is. And that's where the insight is of it. It's, it's not just, Hey, let's go, you know, chug beers on the, uh, <laughs> by the pool. Let's yeah. go get around other 30 K 40 K monthly producers, ask them what they're doing, seeing what they're, what they're working on and, and glean insight so that we can all continue to grow together. Yeah. Well, to your point, the, I think one of the biggest things you could ever do is get around people who are doing what you want to do. Right. 
And like a crazy example of this, did you did you see that story? Someone posted it. It was about um, like Vietnam veterans and that used heroin in, in Vietnam. They used heroin in Vietnam. This is a crazy no. example, but I'm gonna use it anyway. So they said that like 30% of people, 35, I think, I can't remember the exact number, but it was like it was a big number of soldiers that went to Vietnam tried heroin because it was like everywhere there, right? That's right. And then they they said when they came back, like 99.9% .9 never tried it again. And, but they're saying that, you know, if, if you go to rehab, like a normal person that goes to rehab for heroin in the United States, like there's like a 78% chance they relapse. And so the reason that like the Vietnam soldiers didn't relapse is because they changed their environment. Like they went from being, you know, in whatever crazy city where it was like on the streets to back home with their family and like white picket fence and their wife and their dog and their kid. Yeah. So their environment's totally different, right? And the reason that a lot of drug users relapse is because they go to rehab, they get clean, they're like, cool, I'm going to be clean. They go back to the same environment where they start doing heroin in. And then all yeah. these things trigger it. For, oh, yeah. Like, they're like, oh, the grass, the sprinklers turn on at 6 a.m. I should do heroin. I don't, I don't know exactly how it works. <laughs> Whatever it is. Same right? friends, the same neighborhood, yeah, the same, same friends. job. And so same thing with this, right? It's like if you can get around the people that are the top producers or the top business builders, like you're going to be more like that. And then if you get around the people, you know, misery loves company. If you get around the people who, you know, don't do well and blame the leads, the weather, the county, and whatever else they can try to blame, then, you know, you also won't do well. So I think, you know, to your point, this is a massive opportunity for everyone to get around other winners and be able to rub shoulders with them and, you know, hopefully intentionally go there and get to ask questions on how to even get to that next level of being a producer, right? And yeah. if you get good at learning what other producers do, then you can get better at teaching your people how to be better producers, right? So I think everyone should go into that with that mindset as well. Um, for the last couple, two, three minutes, five minutes, can you give everyone some tips on, you know, kind of what marketing means to you and why it's important and, you know, how people should be thinking about marketing themselves, you know, as a producer and as a business owner? Well, I, two, three minutes, I might go a little bit longer, but I'm going to do my yeah, best. Yeah, whatever, five minutes. Whatever okay, all right, all right. Well, I, I can talk about marketing forever because I... Um, I came into this without knowing anything. And my, my, my micro background on marketing is I spent a lot of time in MLMs learning about human connection and speaking in front of the room and personal development and the way people think. And then I did software for a long time where the whole thing was online marketing from text to email to Facebook to YouTube to podcasts to everything. And that business wasn't successful, but I learned a ton because I took all that and then I came found FFL and, you know, the big dude upstairs said, it's time to stop suffering, Grady. You can, you can ascend now. And I was like, thank you, Jesus. Right. So um, <laughs> no jokes. Okay. So here's, here's my concept on marketing. Right. And, and this is some simple stuff. And if I, if you take something away, take these specific words, your goal in marketing is to create an entity that people want to be a part of. That's your goal. If, if that's, that's the, that's the, that's the simplicity of marketing, right? Create something that people want to be a part of. Agents coming to you, right? People buy you. So being authentic and leveling yourself up as they watch you ascend puts you in a position where you don't sound like everyone else, right? If you listen to a lot of these personal development speakers or business coaches or mindset guys or gurus or whatever, people that built a business in some capacity and now teach you how to then evolve a business. They all say the same things. They just say it differently. They all have a thesaurus, right? So that, that concept rings true here is most people, society, are looking for someone that they can trust and follow. Someone who speaks a little bit differently, someone who speaks positive. No one joins negative people, right? So speaking positive, but then putting yourself in a position where you're creating a brand. Now, I have FFL America. You have FFL Capital, but you also have, is it Tordowski Enterprises? Yeah, Tordowski yeah. Enterprises Insurance Agency, <laughs> That's which no one knows of, right? Yeah, exactly. But you, But so... So in a marketing concept, like let's make it as simple as possible. Marketing yourself, right? Your simple name, Grady Polson, Zach Tordowski, two unique names. If you got John Smith, well, do John the broker. I don't know, you know, do, do uh, you know, Stacy the, Stacy the broker, right? Something simple that you can um, market, but also like the goal of good marketing is creating stuff that people want to see and even more so want to share. So for me, my, my, one of my biggest directions is I, I understood YouTube from a capacity that YouTube is owned by the number one search engine in the world. It's the second largest search engine in the world, and it's indexable. So the stuff we post on Facebook 
and Instagram essentially dies within five to 12 hours. It's cool for a minute, but it dies. And so can things go viral on a reel or a YouTube short or a TikTok? Sure. And you should create content there. But my advice was is if you have such chops or you're passionate about your business, you're passionate about what you're doing, you should be creating YouTube videos, giving insurance insight training, giving how to overcome the four main objections, understanding living benefits, what a whole life policy is, what a term policy is. Like if you're an insurance agent, you're an insurance broker, and you're trying to attract Ideally, the goal, my goal of my marketing is to attract other agents to me. I'm not trying to attract clients. I can buy leads to get clients. I can work my, my book that I've built up a thousand clients if I want and ask for referrals and go rework my business and see who needs more policies if I want clients. Like, so your goal is, in, a, in the FFL world is understanding that I can buy leads to procure income to make sales, but I can't build an agency. I can't, you, the, the, the agent buying lead pool isn't is really lean unless you're running some sort of like a Facebook ad campaign or you're running you create YouTube quality content and then people who are out there because if you search insurance there's there's two million agents right that are looking for something or people that sell other avenues and want to look at what what would be a better industry right what what is your background I used to I'm Easton right I you know um, I used to work at enterprise and now I own an enterprise, right? Find out how, I mean, th that was terrible, but, <laughs> but, I think it was pretty uh, good. Yeah. It, but, but it's, you know, learn what I did to, to buy my first home in 12 months, starting my new career. I mean, that, that's a simple image on a, on a, on a YouTube, uh, YouTube thumbnail and then you the title, but, but the concept is guys, it's not like, it doesn't have to be this epic, incredible thing. It just, you just have to do it, right? So if it's a four minute training or a 12 minute training, or I do sometimes 20 minute ones where I interview people consistently and then creating volume is where now you've got a lot of little baby hooks out there in the water. And when someone's searching, how do I sell mortgage protection? How do I sell final expense? How do I sell a whole life? How do I sell it? Like, like if you haven't started a YouTube channel, these are 10 simple videos that you could start with making. And if you sold any amount of insurance with us, you sold 20, 30 families with us before. These would be simple videos for you to make. Sit down at your computer, record them, and start to post them, and then share them with your new agents. One of my greatest recruiting tools is I would say, here's a training video I do. You can see how I get people started. And here's an overview video. Check these two things out. If you like what you see, give me a call. Like, I'm not chasing people. I'm trying to get hundreds, if not thousands, of hooks in the water. And then creating an entity, as we come back to the top, an entity that people want to be a part of. And so, I mean, I could talk at marketing at length, but, you know, once you do that, your goal is to then put them on email lists. So you can drip on it in perpetuity, um, getting your team into a text list so you can get communication with them fast. Um, but, you know, maybe we do a deeper marketing call another time, but that yeah, would be we should. My, we simplest, my simplest advice for anyone <clears throat> who wants to create more agents coming to them is utilizing YouTube because I can't, you know, Instagram, all these are great. They're fun. They're fun and all the pictures and cars and whatever the heck you we will follow that instagram goes yeah. well, more of this stuff right now you know but if you can create content that then doesn't die because facebook it dies instagram it dies x is that the then did the elon That's rename twitter is x yeah i don't I'm know if the name's still twitter or not but this i want to be that rich i could just yeah. rename a 44 billion dollar company that's a goal well first that. he just bought it and then he just said you know what i'll just rename it so, i'm gonna rename it so yeah. there's some goals guys start to create some things but then what you're also doing is you're creating a library of training that then where you can help your direct agents so they can see how you do it if you have success then it's easy to be able to coach, right? I have a new girl I was talking to yesterday. She sells about 30 families a month. I helped her out with some new agents. And I was like, here, the secret is you already know how to do it. And you're confident with the way you do it. So just teach them your way. And then you're going to be confident when they're going through it. That's, these are some, some simple adages. So hope that yeah. was helpful, guys. No, it is. And I think one thing I missed and one thing, I don't know if you missed or not, but I wish I had documented more of what it was like going through the struggle. Cause like once you make it to the other side and you get good at selling, it's, it's like, it's new people don't relate to it as much. Right. But yeah. I, I think back all the time on what it was like. And I remember like the frustration of, you know, in that time, like I literally remember being in my the old car I had in Charleston, South Carolina and all day getting no showed and like literally like punching the roof. And like, I wish I had documented that, you know, like, cause I, but like still then the next day going out, 
and selling three or four people, right? So I, I would encourage that people, someone on here will do it, I'm sure. Like, but if someone could could document the whole way, like it'd be so relatable to people that are getting started or even looking at getting started. And they're like, oh, okay, like that guy failed, but he figured it out, like all good. And that's what well, I wish I had, because you can't fabricate that, but I wish I had documented that because there was some awesome, like looking back on, it didn't seem awesome at the time, but looking back now, I'm like, man, like there was times I slept on the side of the road. Like there was all kinds of crazy wild stuff we all did to make this thing work in the beginning. And so I would encourage people just to start, you know, just documenting what they're doing, what they're going through. You don't even have to post it. Just keep it because you might want to post it later. Right. Dude, if we could go back to only in person, oh. our production would explode. Yeah. It would. You're, you're, you're a killer. You're just there. You don't make one sale at 10 o'clock in the morning and then go, let's go to brunch. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't, but you know, dude, the good old days, I, the good old days of grinding, um, because you don't have, because you're not going to go home. I'm not going, I'm not going back to Chantel at two o'clock in the afternoon when I had eight appointments, <laughs> no, no, no. pull over at a Walmart yeah. under a tree and get my Chick-fil-A salad, eat it. And then call the leads that are sitting on my, on my, on my passenger seat floor and try to get in the home and that's the business. So guys, yeah. I think with Zach's, you know, the, the bigger thing is, you know, work really, really hard. And the work is yeah. trying to connect with clients and solve their problems. That's what we do. We get paid for solving people's problems. Agents, a problem that they don't have an income stream that's like ours and clients who don't have protection. That's why they fill the lead card, right? It would be, be real hard business if we ripped out a page of the white pages and said, start dialing, you know, that would be a hard business. But these people actually requested coverage. So it's um pretty incredible. So one one thing I'll end with just because I want to share something really cool that you just mentioned, like ripping out a page of the white page. We have an agent on our team named Jorge who lives in Houston, who's probably on here. He's always on here, and he doesn't do that, but he only door knocks, like not leads. He just finds neighborhoods and apartment complexes and door knocks, and he sells stuff. at least forty policies a month doing that. Stuff. And it's I was in Houston yesterday. I live in Austin now, which is hot. I was in Houston yesterday. It was like five degrees hotter and like twice as humid. Oh yeah. And all summer long, he's out there door knocking all day long. So, you know, like Grady said, if you want to make, if you want to make it work bad enough, you will. And if you don't want to make it work, you won't. And, you know, become a great marketer. So I appreciate it, Grady. I thank you for putting the cruise on and getting all that stuff together. And thank you for your time today, man. Always brother. Happy to be here.